Okay guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna learn the praying keep up. This, uh, for this move you obviously need to keep up first, otherwise it's not really safe. I guess you can do it without it, but it doesn't make sense. Uh, if you understand the concept, you can use it from both front flip, uh, Webster, uh, you know, uh, head flip, any move like that. You can actually apply the same concept, so it's very simple. So what is it actually? Uh, well, it's very simple. See how I'm sitting right now and I'm going to put my hands in the prayer position like this and simply sit like that. That's all there is. Now, normally, well, you already got the keep up, otherwise, uh, you know, learn that first, but I did a fit on it. Uh, I can put it in the description, but you don't really need to watch it. Just understand that you need to keep up first. So what you're going to simply do is a keep up like normal, but make sure our legs are crossed as they land. And they actually in this, like normally I always advise, especially for beginners, to put them under your butt. So you pretty much always make it. In this case, that's not even necessary. But you just land cross like that, this, and then you drop on your butt like that. And that's all there is to it. So, and it's a fact that people don't watch. You don't actually have to do the prayer thing. You can actually just, you know, go back to the sitting position. So it's quite a sort of a surprise for people. So when I do it right now, let's say I'm doing the keep up from whatever move I want, right? And just finish like that, so from here, and sit in that prayer position like this. Uh, obviously, you can also be some board position like that if you want or whatever. So you can use it sort of with a with a rubber band technique that you actually turn to the back and sit like that, right? Quite a cool effect, very simple. So the trick is that you land on your feet first. This blocks the fall. You obviously don't want to land with your butt first. One, it looks painful and like shit, and otherwise you don't want to do that. Uh, of course, a little bit acting, right? You don't have to do this, but it's fun to play with this concept. Maybe you can do whole kung fu sequence, something like that, before you jump like this, which is quite a full effect. But it's just very simple, right? And these little theatrics make everything more fun, sort of, right? If you sort of just do the K-pop, of course, it's, it's a cool move for beginners, but like for breakers, that's nothing, right? They pretty much can all do it, so guess, you know, Try to come up with this little stuff, but it's very simple. You can play with it. I, I made some variations on this. You know, like I said, say you can sit bored like that. You can use this to impress your girlfriend. Like you jump from a front flip and then just sit next to her like that. It's a cool little trick, right? Go at it, guys, and I'll see you next time.